Yes. Um, I mean, we've known each other for years. Uh, 20 nearly. Like, yeah. Nearly. Is it, did it? Well, 95, years. I think, we first met. So, um, in terms of fashion design, because re- one thing I wanted to do was get you here to make a piece of work. Because just because of your work as director, and I, just, I, you know, I know it and respect it, and, and I think it, you'll make a brilliant job of it. So, what is it about Faustus in particular that made you think that that's the show that you wanted to do with the sits and with the Westwood Playhouse? I think you know when we were talking about what plays we might do together, um, it, it always seemed that what's great about that stage here is that the idea, you know, that it's suited to kind of epic work, um, and I guess. Uh, for me, that that's often meant things like you know that from the classical repertoire, Shakespeare, his contemporaries, those kind of plays. So I guess I was thinking about those those kind of plays when thinking about what we might do together. And I went back to Doctor Faustus, um, which I know you've also directed. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was struck by by kind of a number of things about it, um, but I guess particularly about how. Um, uh, how relevant and, and contemporary uh, it felt today in terms of a character who, uh, as we all know, sells his soul to the devil. Who, um, But I think what really struck me was the fact that the thing that Faustus wants more than anything else is not to be um, a great scientist or... Um, a, a, a great doctor or something like that, but actually what he uses his his power for is, is basically money, is, is to get wealth, to get fame, to get celebrity. That's, that's the thing he seems to want. Um, and, and then of course that struck a chord about the world that we live in today, which of course is so kind of celebrity driven, is money driven. Um, and it all kind of sort of started to make sense to me that 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 was a character who, who sort of fitted into this world. I know you've got a very particular take on Mephistopheles, yeah. uh, which I don't know if you want to talk about at all. Well, Mephistopheles will be being played by Siobhan Redmond, um, who's a fantastic actress. Um, and so, yeah, Mephistopheles is being played by a woman, though actually there is a kind of twist that she was originally a man in, in, in the story. Um, but, um, and there are kind of lots of reasons for that. Um, after all, you know, what sex is is a devil yeah. anyway? Uh, you know, if we'd taken uh, the presumptuous uh, idea that I have that his parents have been killed and that he's been brought up with rela- by relations, then what what would that relationship between Mephistopheles be like if she was at turns uh, in in turn uh, like a mother figure mm-hmm. for him? Um, at, at times, she's like a wife. They sign a contract, actually, which is very similar to a, a, a marriage contract right. of the time. Mm. Um, right. and, uh, and, and I kind of feel that the, you know, the devil will want to be in the body of the person that will most suit yeah. it in order yeah. to do the things, to achieve the things it wants to achieve. It's themes, like you say, have a kind of long-lasting relevance. And hearing you speak about them excites me about the kind of show that I think it's going to be. Um, but I guess also the other thing about your work which I, I really love is the kind of theatricality of it that it's not just a great version of a classic drama but it's also a great show and so some of the things you've spoken about in the past about how you might open that up particularly using uh, magic illusion I think yeah. will feels like an exciting direction to yeah. take it in. I'm very keen that theatre any, any piece of theatre is an event of mm. some sort I, I really love the idea of giving the audience a kind of huge experience. Mm. I'm very struck in the play with, with the kind of metaphor that actually comes up again and again, which is, which is a theatre metaphor that, that um, you know, whenever, whenever Faustus is, is kind of waning or, or, or feeling that he wants, that maybe he's made a mistake, that, that basically Mephistopheles and then Lucifer turn up and, bas- and put on a show mm. you know and they use the word show what yeah. sit down and watch the show Lucifer says at one point um, and and that seems to me again just to open up a whole kind of theatrical metaphor that we can play with and we'll be playing with I think in 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 the production uh, and I think we you know we, we the live sound live music um, and particularly magic that that that, that is uh, you know, so much a part of the, of the show. I was going to ask you about the rewriting because uh-huh. um, when we talked about this early on, um, 
Well, that, that was kind of an idea that emerged, and I yeah. think probably it betr- belies the fact that middle of this play, however brilliant the writing is in it, and it's extraordinarily well written mm. to Sir Christian Marlowe, there is a part of it which it just seems to be written by somebody else or written by Christian Marlowe on a really bad day. Yeah. So you've taken a decision to work with Colin to, well, to talk about that for yeah. a what we've done by commissioning Colin, who has a long relationship, you know, who I've worked with and who you've worked with, um, is, is, I hope, to uh, make the place... is to allow Marlowe's original story, to, to, the kind of universality and, and the contemporaneous of Marlowe's original story to really kind of resound for us today. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I think it's also given us opportunities to... Um, have further debate about what what is God and the devil, good and evil in in this supposedly secular world that we live in. Um, it's given us opportunity to kind of expand the character of Mephistopheles, um, and I think also just to have a have, have a again you know going back to the idea of the theatricality of, of the whole to, to kind of have some fun, and I, and and I hope that part of the the, the experience of, for an audience of watching this play is that they'll be seeing a play which. Ostensibly, it, it's, it, it will, although it will feel contemporary from the beginning, but will be written, you know, originally in, in that original text, and then suddenly, bam, yeah. in the middle, will go somewhere else. Yeah.